Today on Green Science Oregon. An electric vehicle movement is afoot in Oregon, and today we're showing you how Oregon is paving the way for EVs to gain momentum. We'll talk with some folks at Portland State University who are looking into the patterns and behaviors of EV drivers so the electric vehicle industry can better serve consumers. We'll learn about Ecotality's EV project and their plan for installing 2,000 charging stations in Oregon. And we'll take a look at the new Nissan LEAF, one of several new electric vehicles coming to market. We'll also check out two EV charging station manufacturers located right here in Oregon. All coming up next on Green Science Oregon. There are a number of announcements of vehicles that are coming to market, but in point of fact, today in Oregon, there's only about 400 or 450 registered electric vehicles across the state. That's soon going to change. Long and short of it is there's a lot of new products, new generation electric vehicles that will be coming to market late in 2010 and 2011 and into 2012, and we want to be one of the early markets that has access and uh, has a chance to learn how to adopt those and adapt those to, to the uh, cityscape in, uh, up and down the Willamette Valley. For the last 30 years, in some very significant ways, Oregon in general and Portland in particular have been interested in electrifying transportation. It's the least impactful and probably most energy efficient and reliable way that we can move uh, masses of people. Now it's happened because of oil that we're turning our attention to electric vehicles. In the next year we're going to be seeing a lot of the vehicles are going to be rolling out, the infrastructure is going to be rolling out, and we want to see how it affects or how the built environment and the urban environment affects the use of these vehicles. And where PSU is involved in this is trying to create a living laboratory. It's not just about the electric vehicles. We're looking at the infrastructure, the vehicles, and the people in which this is going to uh, affect. We have a pilot project with Toyota right now with their plug-in Priuses. We have 10 cars that are in the state, and we're going to be rotating those 10 cars four times, and we'll probably touch about 40 people and get information about those cars. Portland State University, because it has a very special uh, relationship with Portland General Electric and with the City of Portland and other uh, uh, public and private institutions, but those three in particular have made the Portland area a very attractive site uh, for a number of vehicle manufacturers. Toyota in particular has been very generous in providing some uh, pure battery electric RAV4s that we've been testing here since last November. And recently, uh, the Portland area was selected as one of five demonstration markets across the United States for their new uh, plug-in Prius. And so we've got 10 of those that we'll be deploying not only in the Portland area, but in, in uh, Salem, Corvallis, and Eugene over the next 12 to 18 months. The cars are very smart. They'll be having uh, GPS on them. They'll be uh, tracking information within the vehicle themselves. So we'll be grabbing that data off of those vehicles. The cars have been tested in a uh, kind of on the track or at the, the, the facilities of the um, car manufacturers, but they haven't been tested in the urban environment. You know, when you have air conditioning on or a heater on or you you're, might not be driving in the most consistent way, the battery might deplete quicker. So we're trying to figure out what the, how the vehicles actually be, um, operate and the performance of the batteries, but how that measures up to people's daily trips. By taking this information in, then we would like to you know, give that data back and, and recommendations back to our partners, be it the state, the utilities, people in general, uh, on is this a technology that is acceptable or, or can be used by majority of the people. 
We're partnering with Portland State University on a number of initiatives and our goal is to really look at electric transportation and how it's going to fit into Portland specifically, which Portland has a goal of being a very sustainable city. And so we are partnering with them on a couple of projects. One of them is with Toyota. Toyota has brought a dozen or so vehicles, electric vehicles, uh, into Portland and PGE and Portland State will be testing those vehicles out in the market. So we'll be having employees drive them, we'll be having uh, staff at Portland State drive them, business leaders, to really look at usage patterns and we want to see how they fit into the transportation system in Portland. We are the uh, one of the most significant Prius markets in North America. In fact, the data uh, suggests that we have more registered Priuses per capita in Portland than any other place. So we have a very informed and very motivated marketplace. Now here's what's noteworthy about these cars. They, they not only run like any other Prius, but they have a lithium battery pack and can run in the range of 13, 14, 15 miles in battery only mode and they can be plugged in, plugged in right in your garage or at any 110 outlet and be charged up uh, in the course of about three hours. What that means is, is far less tailpipe uh, emissions, particularly in, a, in an urban area where people make a lot of short hops, stop and go driving and so forth. So we think the car is very promising in a corridor like the Willamette Valley where our average vehicle miles traveled are really relatively small, much smaller than Los Angeles or Atlanta or Chicago. So we're, we're very fortunate to be able to evaluate those cars. Shore Power Technologies is one Oregon company that manufactures electric vehicle charging stations. Shore Power is basically a transportation electrification company. Uh, we do anything uh, related to electric transportation infrastructure. Um, including electric vehicle charging stations and what's called truck stop electrification. We produce both level one and level two electric vehicle charging stations. Level one is uh, basically uh, a standard household outlet. Um, so the charging station really isn't that sophisticated at that point. Um, however, recently the Society of Automotive Engineers has come out with uh, what's called J1772. It's the new standard that all the, the major manufacturers will be going to. So. Nissan with their Leaf coming out uh, at the end of this year and the, the GM uh, or Chevy Volt uh, will both use this uh, new connector, the J1772 connector and that's in general it's called level 2 so that allows you to charge at 240 volts up to 75 amps um, in which case you could probably compared to level 1 charge your vehicle in you know two to five times faster. All of our charging stations are multi-user units so rather than have you know, one charging station for one vehicle, we have uh, two user or four user units. What that does is lowers the overall installed cost. We also have customized payment options, uh, which includes uh, a card reader, a mag strip reader. So it can, you can access the station with either a credit card or a student body card, a fleet card, or an employee card. So you might have a business that uh, they want to allow their own uh, company employees to use the station but they don't necessarily want to charge them to use it but um, they could they could give access through some kind of employee card. With uh, Portland General Electric, the local utility, we've installed uh, I believe about three dozen charging stations in the Portland metro area. Um, the current design or original design uh, was designed in conjunction with them um, again for very strong visibility. You can see from the design that it's meant to be very visible and easy to recognize and find, uh, particularly early on uh, when you know the vehicles are just starting to come out. Uh, there's kind of two reasons you want it to be visible. One, you want it to be easy to find when you're driving around at night and so forth. And, and two, it's really kind of a marketing piece to say, hey, you know, electric vehicles are coming. Today we're installing our first public charging station in the city of Beaverton and it's uh, kind of a monumental event because it hasn't quite been done over here before. 
Beaverton wants to support the electric vehicle infrastructure. We want to let Beaverton know that if they choose to buy electric vehicles, that the infrastructure is here for them to use those vehicles. We want to support the use of alternative energy, and we want to shift our consumption away from fossil fuels. We are very happy today to be supporting a local company that makes charging stations, optimization technologies with their OptConnect station and that's all part of a move to make sure that um, green tech is supported in Beaverton and to let them know that we're here to support that industry. OpConnect was started uh, a couple of years ago uh, when some people in our organization uh, started looking uh, at new business opportunities. Our company had developed some uh, network uh, security communication software uh, that we licensed to Boeing for use in their uh, commercial airplanes. We started looking at other applications for it, and uh, I happened to be a Prius driver and was really kind of interested in where the, uh, you know, the clean driving technology was going. Uh, we knew that the industry was starting to move towards electric cars, so we developed uh, a charging station design around our uh, network security software and that's that's really how we uh, uh, got to where we are today. We have donated uh, a charging station to the city of Beaverton uh, and the city of Beaverton is uh, getting started on the installation process. It's going to be installed in front of the uh, Beaverton Library which is a great location uh, because it's also right across the st uh, street from the Beaverton Farmers Market which is a pretty well attended event. When PG announced it was installing a network of charging stations, we went out to businesses and cities who share our commitment to state sustainability to join and hopefully install charging stations uh, at their premises. We work very closely with PGE. They've been involved in investigating several of our attempts to put in stations so far. This is the, um, they've been involved in this process as well. We work closely with PSU to uh, educate and learn and be regional partners in the discussion about bringing electric vehicle infrastructure not only to Beaverton but to the region. It doesn't help just to have it in Beaverton, it's a connectivity uh, goal, it's, it's a way to let people move around our region not just from Beaverton as, as people come in and out of our city. Green Science Oregon is brought to you in part by Solar World.